Hey guys, it's Stefan, and today I'm going to be reading the 11th chapter of Eddie and the Lizard Man. Now, in the last chapter, Eddie followed Kevin into the dimly lit backstage area of Wet Willies, a nightclub and bar. But what is Kevin doing there? Well, let's keep reading to find out. Chapter 11, Eddie and the Giant. With renewed determination, Eddie followed the strange sound down a short hall and rounded a corner. The space was lined with more tall black curtains and was slightly wider than the corridor he had just walked down. Shelves stacked with audio gear lights and other equipment obstructed his path, but he soldiered on. At the end of the hall was a door cracked open. He knew that just behind it was the source of the eerie sound. Cautiously and quietly, Eddie inched across the dark room, being careful not to knock anything over. He finally arrived at the slightly open door and looked in. There was Kevin with his back to the door. He was standing over something, and his arms were moving in a circular motion. The whirring tone seemed to change with each movement, and although Eddie couldn't clearly see how Kevin was making the noise, it was obvious that he was making it. But why? What does it mean? If it is a signal, who is it for? And why wet willies? That last question sent a shiver up Eddie's spine as a theory began to form. Wet willies! Of course! Lots of people gathered in one place! The implications presented a potentially diabolical scheme. He's orchestrating and... Just then, a large hand landed on his shoulder. Now, in most instances, Eddie probably would have let out a loud scream due to the sheer shock of having such a large hand grab his shoulder. But this was a level of shock that exceeded all other levels of shock Eddie had ever experienced. A shock so shocking that it rendered Eddie paralyzed. He felt as if the air had been sucked right out of his lungs, leaving him breathless and therefore speechless. So speechless that even if he wanted to let out a scream, he couldn't. Then he heard a low, gravelly voice coming from behind him. What do you think you're doing? Eddie slowly turned around to see, towering over him, one of the largest human beings he had ever seen. The man was dressed in a black uh, shirt and dark jeans. He had a scar on his face, starting in the center of his left brow, running down and across his nose and ending mid-cheek. The man was terrifying, and since Eddie was still in the middle of remembering how to breathe, trying to answer the man's questions with words was proving difficult. Eddie tried making hand motions toward the room Kevin was in, but that seemed to make the giant man even more upset. Then things started to get really strange, as Eddie felt a slight tremor in the floor. The lights hanging from the ceiling began to sway, but the giant man didn't seem to notice or care, leaving Eddie to think, Oh my gosh! He must be in on it! I bet he and Kevin are working together! Kevin is the mastermind and this giant thing is the henchman! Kevin is in charge of contacting his reptilian comrades, and the giant is in charge of rounding everyone up! That's it! I've got to warn them, no matter what it takes! Then. From the same courageous place that caused Eddie to venture down the dark hallway to Kevin's office, and with the same resolve that he had when he sighed in the alley outside Wet Willie's, yes, from that place and with that resolve, Eddie leapt past the giant man with every intention of becoming the liberator of the patrons of Wet Willie's. All right, so in this chapter, Eddie is convinced that Kevin and the giant man are teaming up together to abduct the people in Wet Willies. He saw something bad about to happen, and he was compelled to warn people. What about you? Have you ever had a situation like that where you saw something potentially bad about to happen to someone? Did you warn them, or did you stay silent? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, you can get your own copy of Eddie and the Lizard Man by clicking the links in the description box. And if you haven't done so already, please like, share, and subscribe, and join me next time as I continue our reading of Eddie and the Lizard Man in Chapter 12, The Mothership. Stay curious.